Hi everyone! Due to the relevance of the first generation Focusrite Scarlett, I decided to show the process of replacing the USB connector and some tip for choosing. The USB connector is the first thing that breaks with careless use, but it can be replaced even with a soldering iron. Let's start with disassembling the device. The back cover is held on by the three bolts and two plastic nuts. The board is accessed from the front. It is fixed with two ears and two teeth located on top. Having removed the board, we unsoldered the connector and replaced it with a prepared one. After replacing, first of all, you should check whether the computer sees the audio interface before assembling it. However, be careful that there is no worried metal object under the board, so that there is no short circuit. Once with another audio interface, there was a case that extraneous sounds were emitted during recording. After disassembling, I found a cobweb. After cleaning it, the sound started to record cleanly. Therefore, be careful that there are no forward object or debris on the board. When recording, also try to turn the recording volume controls. If there are any dips in the sound, then they should also be replaced. Also, their level of serviceability can be determined by turning the regulator to the maximum. If the recording volume level is too low, then it is worth replacing the control. The second generation doesn't have bolts on the back cover, but I think the board is fixed in the same way as in the first generation on the T's. I would be glad to know if anyone has had experience disassembling the second generation. Hope for your subscribe and like. See you later.